Hello, hello. Welcome to day 15. Uh, between day 14 and day 15, I managed to edit a video and turn myself red. So um, I have to get this. Oh, that's not part of today. I don't know where that's popped up from. Um, okay, these are today's digitals. Now, I've done this once already, um, hence the red, and it didn't work. So I've edited and I'm just going to go for it and see if it works out second time round. So this piece is very straightforward. Fold it, cut it, fold it, ink it. Um, I'm just going to cut a little, a little bit out of the top there, like that. Ink that little gap. And I'm also going to ink this back section here. And that is a pocket, okay? Simple, simple, simple. Um, I was gonna glue all of these on and I thought, no, I'm just gonna create the collage, the collage. So done, done and dusted. Now these three pieces, I have mounted them on to the 280 GSM cardstock. This piece, I don't even know if I'm gonna use yet, but I changed that to say um, Elf Del Farm. Um, so, and I've also put Christmas and the date in there. If you've got supersonic eyes, eyesight, you might be able to read that. But I had a lot of fun editing that. So I have mounted it. These are the other pieces. Um, over there, you can see how I ended up red uh, by inking the number 15. And it's still wet because I went straight in with the uh, refiller rather than, um, yeah, went straight in with my refiller. Uh, so this is going to be the basis for our tag and what I'm going to do first of all is um, just glue this together where the pocket this is the front with the tag this is going to be the piece we use so that's going to be the back I'm just going to give the edge of this a little ink because you can see a little bit there now this is not sewing this piece I am going to sew and I'm just going to do that now I'm going to sew round the edge fairly close so it's a pocket well, that wasn't any fun um first of all I had a bit of an issue with my machine um you can see there's a little bit of a there was a bit of a problem up there sorted that problem and then I ran out of bobbin thread so that's now sorted I just want to double check this is going to go in here okay so part of my issue has been rectified. Now, there is something you'll notice at the end. Um, I'll talk about that shortly. This piece here, in my, my first attempt, I backed it. I'm not gonna back it this time, even though I've got red ink all over the back. I'm not gonna back it this time. I'm gonna leave it as it is. And this is my heavyweight photo matte Epson paper. Okay, I do, however, need my scoreboard. So grabbing that. So working from either end, I want to score a line. I'm going to do it on the other side because I think it looks neater. At three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Three quarters of an inch. And I'm folding it in on itself like that. I'm not going to use the scoreboard for the next bit because it involves too much maths. Now this way I'm going to fold it in half. And I want these lines burnished quite well. And I just Hope you are all keeping your fingers crossed for me. Right, so we've got that. Oh, I'm honestly, I'm so nervous about this because if it doesn't work this time, I've wasted an awful lot of time trying to do this, this project. Now, I'm going to use this side. So I'm taking one of my little flaps and glue that. What I do need to do is make sure I glue it on 
the tag the right way up. This needs to be at the top. Doesn't matter which way around this piece goes, but it is important this piece is right. So we want this at the top. I'm going to put that on and then line that up. Oh, I'm a little bit out. I'm a little bit out and it's not going to move now. Oh well, oh well. We've got we've got it in place. Now I'm going to fold this. And um I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of embossing around here. Just because it makes it mixes it up a little bit. Love that, that looks very pretty. And whew, here we go, here we go. We are going to put this on this part of the folded piece. Now, what I did before, which obviously didn't work out, so I'm gonna hopefully do it a little bit better this time. I'm going to hold this in place just above the crease. I don't want to glue it too close to the crease. And I'm going to run a pencil line down there. So that is the area I'm going to glue at the bottom. Um, I really should have done this at a time where I could really work out if I had um had this working but because i i need a day where i'm not doing anything i have to catch up and do two days today uh so it was a case of having to get it done best i could and see what happened now a bit tricky this to make sure you get it on straight and not too close to that crease and make sure you cover up that pencil line. So far, that is looking okay. Now I'm just going to grab this little piece of cardstock so I'm not rubbing directly onto that embossing. And that is so far so good. Right now, this piece. I have single mounted onto cardstock. I'm going to glue the bottom half, okay, of this, just the bottom half. And I'm going to add it to another piece of cardstock. So the bottom half is double mounted. I'm going to cut that. Brilliant. And I'm going to just add a little bit of ink to this edge where it's so cream. It's very white. Okay. Now, what I want to do is make sure this is at a reasonable angle. So it's quite upright. And I'm going to add my little stopper. Okay. I'm going to put it about here. So just going to hold that in place roughly. I'm going to just glue that bottom, the double mounted piece. I'm going to apply my glue there. And this is where it's never going to be perfect because it's not going to lay flat now. Never will because we've got a piece of mounted cardstock under here. Put that in place. Make sure that's all good. Get that out of the way. Just hold that down. Now, hopefully, yay! I was really concerned that was not going to fit there. <laughs> so this is just a little spare piece 
Um, you could add a sentiment here, you could add a photograph. You do not have to add this little piece of ephemera. It's entirely up to you. But I want that to go there. And that is our little pop-up stand-up thingy. And it works much better now I've got that single piece of cardstock. You could have added that if you wanted to rather than the piece I have added. So the biggest issue with this is it now it won't lay flat. It has to go into that pocket to lay flat. But I want to decorate this area here. So what I might do, is should I add that? No, because you're not going to see it anyway. I'm going to take my crocodile, donk, and chuck things around. I'm just going to do this by eye. I'm adding a hole either side, which probably was a silly idea because it now probably will not fit into my, my pocket. But we'll give it a go anyway. So I need two the same colour. I'm going to put these in here. Just wanted to do something a bit different on the top. Now I've got a piece of ribbon. I'll come from the back. I don't think, I don't know if I've left myself enough to tie a bow. Let's see. Okay, so it does look a little bit flappy and a little bit tatty. Um, you can add other things to this, of course, if you wish. Um, but I really like it. You could, you know, you could easily make a Christmas card like this. It is actually another Christmas card idea, to be perfectly honest. Um, that's the good thing about getting Christmas cards. You, if you're making <laughs> December daily, it gives you some ideas. Um, and then this will slot in to our pocket. So it's not perfect. It's not, um, it doesn't sit perfectly in here. Um, I have to use that, so I'm going to add this to the back. I think I'm going to add that to, yeah, I may even add the red label. Also, seems they are all done. I'm just make a little, little grouping here. Although, oh yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do that, and then we'll work out where we're going to put um, the number 51. I have an idea. I have an idea of putting it on the label on the other side of the pocket, but we'll see if it actually works. Down goes Christmas cheer. I quite like the fact it doesn't quite fit, but it still looks okay. So what I'm starting to do now is some of these are very slightly taller than the previous ones, not by much, not by a lot. Um, I made the pocket the same size and then made the tag the same size. So I knew once I'd sewn it, it was gonna sit a little bit higher than the others. Um, it still goes down a little bit further. And so the bow is there. So that's number 15. Oh, 10 days till Christmas, guys, 10 days till Christmas. Um, I'm very much looking forward to, I can't even say I'm having a day off because obviously it's cooking and everything involved with that. Um, but day 15, I will be back tomorrow. And as of now, I have absolutely no idea what it's gonna be. Um, I will see you really soon. Take care. Thanks again for joining me and the wonderful comments. Bye.